Matthew number 16 and verse number 18. This is Jesus Christ declaring these words. And he says, and I also say to you that you are Peter. And on this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Shout amen. amen. You know, when Jesus is saying these words, he had all these things in his eyes. Because Jesus could see to the end. Praise his holy name. Amen. So this thing cannot stop the church. Church is not a tent. Church is not a building. Church is your life. You are out. You and me, we are the church. And we want to thank God for the situation today. We bless his holy name. There's no complaint. We are still in the boat. Say, I'm still in the boat. And we are still celebrating. We shall celebrate. We shall rejoice in the name of Jesus. For this makes the devil mad because the devil has nothing to celebrate. But we have something to celebrate because Jesus is not in the grave. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We celebrate. I say we celebrate. Let's go stand up and put our hands together in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 We praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Be seated. This morning in the, our service of this Calvary, I want to let you understand God is so amazing. We have returned back to where the altar used to be. It used to be from here to there, and we have returned back. And the altar of the Lord cannot be destroyed. You cannot destroy the altar of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Our message this morning in the discovery service. Oh my God. Can someone shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Say the battles are over. Say the battles are over. Hallelujah. It is our time of celebration. And we, we are not complaining. We are thankful to the Lord. Oh, yeah. We are not pointing fingers, yeah. but we lift our holy hands to the King of Glory. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Turn with us in the book of Esther chapter 3. Esther number 3, we will read and we will be discovering very fast some things in Jesus' name. Oh, glory to God. We cover our community by the blood of Jesus. We pray the scars will not cover our community. We pray the scars will not touch our community. Our community we cover by the blood of Jesus. Every man and woman in this community we soak in the blood of Christ. We are praying the masses of God. Amen. Now in Esther chapter 3 from verse 9. You are there? This is our man. If it pleases the king, let a decree be written that they be destroyed, and I will pay ten thousand talents over silver uh, of silver into the hands of those who do the work to bring it into the king's treasuries. So the king took his signet ring from his hand and gave it to our man the son of Amenadatha, the Antidite, the enemy of the Jews, the enemy of the church. And the king said to Amman, the money and the people are given to you. Do with them as seems good to you. Shout amen. amen. Then the king's scribes were called on the 13th day of the first month. And a decree was written according to all the, uh, that a man commanded. To the king's satraps, to the governors who were over each province, to the officials of the people, to every province according to its script, and to every uh, people in their language. 
In the name of King Osiris, it was written and sealed with the king's signet ring. And the letters were sent by couriers into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to an annihilate all the Jews, both young and old, little children, women, in one day. On the uh, 10th day of the 12th month, which is the month of Anna, and the plunder their possessions. A copy of the document was to be issued as law in every province, being published for all people that they should be ready for that day. 15. The couriers went out, asked by the king's command, and the decree was proclaimed in Sushan, the, uh, the synod. So the king and a man sat down to drink, but the city of Sushan was published. Amen. Amen. Look chapter 8. Look chapter 8 before we discover a few things here. Chapter 8 and verse 15. So Mandekai went out from the presence of the king in royal apparel of blue and white, with a great crown of gold and a garment of fine linen and purple. And the city of Sushan rejoiced and was glad. The Jews had light and grandness, joy and honor. And in every province, the city, whenever the king's command and a decree came, the Jews had joy and gladness and a feast and a holiday. Then many of the people of the land became Jews because fear of the Jews fell upon them. Verse 1 and 2 of chapter 9. Now in the 12th month, that is the month of Anna, on the 13th day, the time came for the king's command and his decree to be executed. On the day uh, that enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them, the opposite occurred. In that, in that the Jews themselves overpowered those who hated them. Amen. Shout amen. amen. I say shout amen. amen. I want to share with you this morning just to encourage your lives. Amen. amen. To encourage you. You see, when God designed everything, everything indeed put in place. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. He indeed put everything in place. Amen. amen. He knew this day. The Bible says in Psalm 1, uh, 39, verse 16, that the Lord knew all my days before any one of them was done. Praise the Lord. Amen. He knew everything. And so God knew this time. And I want to come to you with a word of encouragement to encourage you, not only by this situation, but every situation that comes along life. Many a time when God is almost to move in and lift you up, the devil will lose hell and come out in his fullness. Yeah. And this I want to say, there's something God is almost doing. Yeah. I want you to open your eyes. And this I'm picking and connecting it with last Sunday's message. I connected it with last Sunday's message that the preacher preached here and they said hey remain in the boat it is well Amen. i say it is well Amen. remain in the boat it is still well Amen. 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 Amen don't panic the lord is still uh in in the boat Amen. praise the name of the lord Amen. now this time happened welcome bishop this time happened when the Jews were in a terrible mess. And a man planned and decided everything gonna happen as he wanted. And they went to the king and they said, hey, give me people, I will give money to the treasuries. And I will make sure that all your enemies shall be done with shall be wiped out of the face of the earth. The king said, money is given to you and the people are given to you. 
do whatever you would like to do with your enemies. And quickly, a letter was written. We are here because a letter was written. I say we are here because a letter was written. I say we are here because a letter was written. But there is one who is above all letters. There is one who is above all contents of all letters. I don't care what, what contents are in the letters. Which are written about your life. Which are written about your family. Which are written about your business. Which are written about living water. I don't care because I know the content is one who is greater than any content in any written letter. So hallelujah. Your battles are over. I say your battles are over. Your marriage battles are over. Marriage battles are over. Business battles are over. Amen. The battles of living waters are over. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Amen. I say they are over. Amen. Never again to fight. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I decree and I declare today. Amen. There is one who is greater than any content of any letter. Amen. So the letter was written to subject and to finish all the Jews. And you see, we are here in the open air space this morning, celebrating the greatness and the power of God. Because a letter was written, and it said, wipe out this tent. Throw them away, we don't want to see them. We want to come in quickly. But listen to me, the conduct could not move God. The conduct could not move God. I mean, the conduct could not move God. The pulling down of the tent cannot change God. The pulling down of the tent cannot change God. It cannot touch Jesus Christ. The Bible tells me in Hebrews uh, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. So hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Time of praying prayers of tears are gone. We are no longer going to cry. But listen to me as I prophesy to you this morning. Yes. The content of the letter is not bigger and greater than the one who is in us. Amen. Amen. Yeah. The Bible tells me in the first letter of John, greater is he who is in me than who is in the whole world. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 And so together with this, I want to say, even the letters which might be written against you without your knowledge ah yes. uh, today we have come to put them together yes. we will put them together yes. and we will prophesy yes. and we will declare yes. you condemn you are not greater yes. than the one who is in us yes. praise the name of the lord yes. i say praise the name of jesus yes. give him a mighty hand clap if you can yes. hallelujah we praise the Lord. Now listen to this. You see, money, come on, money can buy plots. Money can buy houses. Money can buy papers. But money cannot buy God. Money cannot buy God. So let nothing move you. If you have God in your life, nothing can move your life. Shout hallelujah, somebody. Let's, let's move a little bit here. Now listen to this. When a man got fed up with the tears, he decided to do a great lesson to them according to the understanding of human mind. And they knew for sure he would deal with them. He went to the king because he was the king's advisor. Look here, I want to put you a, a discovery in your mind. He went to the king because he was king's advisor. And he spoke to the king. And the king gave in. And every scheme was done. It is one thing to scheme. And it is another thing to implement the scheming. 
by the help of God, if God is in the scheming. But if God is not in, wait for frustration. So they schemed. My Bible tells me they schemed and letters were put everywhere. And the day they were waiting to do everything. Oh my God. My Bible says, but the opposite oh God but the opposite oh God you know what when we were doing the book of uh, integrity the weapon of dealing with corruption we came to somewhere where we said between the mouth and the cup many things may between the cup and uh, Ah, hallelujah. So, they, they, they decided it will be done. And the letters went. And let me tell you something. People panicked. I know some of you, you panicked when you woke up on Wednesday and you found the tent down. I know some of you panicked. You are not the first one to panic. They also panicked. But you are panicking. We will help you to come up. I say we will help you to come up. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So. In their panicking. God came in. Turn to somebody and say God is in the boat. Say God is in this place. In Jesus name. Say, God is in this place in Jesus' name because your battles are over. Your battles are over. It is our season of celebration. Now, listen to this. When Jesus said to the disciples, Let's go to the other side, Jesus knew there shall be troubles in the Middle East. But he did not tell them, but in the midst you will find some. <laughs> he said, let's go to the other side. Amen. Amen. He knew it will come and it will be tackled. So even in this, these little, little things, little, little devils. I hear someone would call them little, little devils. The little foxes. They will grab there and they grab there. But the ministry will continue. And the church of Jesus will continue. The happy of the Lord will still march on. Because the gates of hell will never prevail. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's continue here. And you see, now a man, a man, a man is given the, uh, the signet ring and he's done, he's, 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 he's brought, go ahead and do whatever you can do. Look here. One of the things I want you to discover is misuse of office. Today we are living at a time whereby people who are in offices, they have not come to clear conscience with who God is. They think they can misuse offices and do whatever they think they can do and nothing will catch up with them. Listen to me. Today I want to prophesy and I want to say no misuse of office from this uh, uh, here which will go without punishment. Yes. People may not do it. They may go what they are calling impunity. You know what is impunity? You do wrong and you are not punished. You do what you want to do and nobody can touch you. But not with God. Yes. Not with God. You can do whatever you want to do but God will cut you along the way. You shall catch up with God. So, there was misuse of office. A man misused this office. Today we see misuse of offices. People who don't care what's up. People don't care what can be tomorrow. People don't care what will happen if I sow this kind of seed. What shall be my harvest? Listen to this. In any misuse of office, there are consequences to follow. Either from men or from God. And 
I, I believe that. And I know that's true. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's move a little bit and do a discovery. When a man gets the cigarette ring and, and he misuses it, he did not know that there is more power. That is about the king's power. Now that is what many people are forgetting today. We have power which is superior. We have power which is above any man's power. And this is the power of our king. The king of kings. The one the Bible calls him the king of kings. Amen. He moved in and he did all he needed to do. But God was still watching. Tell your neighbor, God is still watching. Ah, say to your neighbor, God is still watching. God was watching a man. He watched his movement. He watched the couriers. He watched even the hours. He watched the minutes. He watched the seconds. My God keeps on watching. Amen. He's watching even over your problem. He's watching even over your family. He's watching about what you feel is a problem, threatening your life, threatening your family, threatening your children, threatening your marriage. God is watching over. He is even watching over the twisting. And as you bring twisted on, may the blessings of the Lord come over your life. May your sacrifice of this day break every yoke of your life. May the sacrifice of this day break every ceiling above your life. May the sacrifice of this day deal with every sickness and disease that the enemy has prepared against your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Now I'm coming. I'm coming for this discovery. He has done everything, but my God is watching what? He's watching time. Hours, minutes, seconds and micro seconds you know why because the bible says in the appointed day when the enemies of the jews they thought it was now their time to overpower the jews what happened tell your neighbor what happened i say tell your neighbor what happened I want everybody to speak because there's something that is happening in the spiritual realm for your life, for your family, for this community, and for our lives, and for this church. Tell your neighbor, what happened? The opposite did what? The opposite of God. I declare and decree this day that the opposite will occur to your life. The opposite shall occur to your family. Amen. The opposite shall occur to this church. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Yes. You see, in chapter 9, it speaks so well. But when they were prepared, when they were very much ready, and they knew this is the day, they shall do away with these notorious people who have God whom they cannot submit to the laws of the the, 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 the heathens, and they submit to their uh, God's laws, they knew they won't do away with it. But God was watching. Remember, we began by, money can buy anything, but it cannot buy God. It can buy people. It can buy offices. By the way, we have so many people in this country who are working in big, big offices, but they bought their papers. They bought their offices. They are not there because they qualify. They bought their way. Because money can buy that. But money cannot buy God. Turn to your neighbor and say, money cannot buy God. Money cannot buy God. Now, but don't discover this. And I want these discoveries to go down to your life. You should not misuse the office that God gives you. Because every one of us see that here you have an office. You have your marriage. You are a father, you are a mother. In the uh, marketplace, you have an office. Maybe business or whatever. Do not 
misuse that power in that office. We are here because some people somewhere, they misuse their powers. Amen. They can go free within their minds, but not with God whom I know. Not with God whom I know. Are we together? So, whenever God has put you in, do not misuse that authority. If you are a wife or husband, children, in whenever God has put you, do not misuse. Amen? Amen? Amen. Are we together? Yes. We move a bit. Understand God is watching everything. Understand God is watching everything. And do not come to a point of light and you think God has gone. You see, people who have no knowledge, they might say, uh uh, living water, God has gone. Uh uh, He has not gone. When God is building a testimony, when God is building you to become more than conquerors, you will have to be given something to conquer. Praise God. You will have to have a story to tell. What will you tell about living water? What will you tell about this ministry? If God goes over everything and he protects everything, when he did that, you know, uh, 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 to Job, the devil went and said, uh, uh, Job loves you because you protect him. Give me a chance. Let me touch him. And God says, quiet, but don't touch his soul. And he was told, go ahead. Put down the tent. Hallelujah. Put down the offices. Yeah. And the coming Sunday, my people shall gather. Yeah. Are we not here gathering for the glory of Jesus? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Listen to this. In your life, when these kind of challenges come across the way, do not allow fear. That's the other thing. Do not allow fear to overshadow your life. Because you see, when the fear comes in, people respond to things differently. Fear can cause you to run away. Fear can cause you to begin misusing your words. Fear can make you to insult people. Fear can make you to do against the will of the Father. So, when these things happen, even when we are, wherever we are right now, when these things are happening, I will visit you. Do not allow your mouth to insult anybody. Do not allow your mouth to rob you your blessings. You can pray a prayer like the psalmist. He prays a prayer and he says, God, watch over the lips of my mouth. You see, every word we speak, it shall come back to our lives. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are we together? Money can buy anything, but money cannot buy God. Your battles are over. It is your time to celebrate. The enemy you have seen, you will never see him again. You will never see them again in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let me finish this. When people come to the end of their life and story, God shows up. I say God shows up. You see, that time the Jews were waking up to see their last son raising up. To many they thought so, but not what was with the father. Amen. When the dead came down, I don't know what you thought. Tell your neighbor, watch over the space and see what God is bringing. Amen. See what God is bringing this place. See what God is bringing over living water in the name of Jesus Christ. Allow me to finish. The Lord is still in this place. The Lord is still.
you in the thing. In this matter. And I can say like somebody, the wise man of East. He called men and they asked them, tell me, tell me that which cannot change. And the wise men, they tried to seek and to search what is that that cannot change? And what is that that the king to hear? And they said so many things. But some of them, they came close and they decided. And they came up with this thing and they, they said, King, even this shall come to pass. And the king sat and he said, yeah, this does not change. Even this shall come and pass. Will you look at your neighbor and say, even this? Ah. Look around and tell your neighbor, even this shall come to pass. Amen. Even this shall come to pass. Even the problem you might be going through now in your family, finances, or emotionally, in your marriage, even that one shall come to pass. Because God is greater than the conflict in the letter. God is greater than the content in where? In the letter. Let's all be on our feet. In Jesus' name. Oh my God. Let's all stand up wherever you are. With your umbrella, I told you this is a sign. This is a sign that God is doing something. And I speak to the clouds right now to hold and to five. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. In the name of Jesus. The discovery that we have seen in the story of the Jews. And you know we are taking the book of Esther in the Bible studies. The story of the Jews. The Jews. Esther. A man. Mordecai does to know about it. This is a short story. The Rogians, they say, there's no name of God mentioned in Esther, which is true. But those who are taking the book of Esther, you know, we are seeing it is the action of God which shows God in the book of Esther. The things, the works that God is doing in the book of Esther. Amen? And so, if you stand up, the Bible says, and the opposite occurred. And the people sought to become Jews. And God inflicted people with his fear. Such a way people feared Jews. And the world went across the nations. I prophesy to you as you stand up this morning. Just lift up your hands wherever you are. As God dealt with the enemies of the Jews, so shall he do with your enemies. So shall he do with the enemies of this ministry. As people of God who are blessed, I decree to your life today, that God shall come across your life and He shall bless your family. He shall bless your life. He shall bless your marriage. He shall bless your business. Hold the hold. Don't jump out of the boat. The presence of the Lord is with us. He is with us. Father, I pray this day in the name of Jesus that you encourage your people, that you heal your people, that you bless your people. Thank you, Father. Just before we say amen, we turn every hand down. We stand in the presence of the Lord. We stand in the presence of God. I want to ask, maybe you are here today and you have not given your life to Jesus Christ. 
this would be a very wonderful moment of time with you. That shall mark you alive and you shall never forget. A day we worship outside, you gave your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are there and you would like to turn your life to Jesus Christ, giving him all the burdens of your life, you can lift up your hands and I will pray with you wherever you are. I will pray with you wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. If all of us, we are born again, praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, we are thankful again. For your word will never return to you void. We bless your name. We exalt you, dear Father. We are thankful. We are in our celebrations. Nothing will stop this. And we exhort you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs>